and it's Angie from You Can Create Too. And we are on, I believe, video number four of the Ancient Wonders Egypt Journal by Natty and Moon. I am a design team member, and this is a project for the Natty and Moon um, Etsy and Facebook group. So we have our journal here. And then last time we made our some ephemera to go in it, and I think this time maybe we will start decorating some pages and putting items in. So you can see we have a nice blank spread right here. So let's maybe put let's put this down as a belly band. So with a belly band we will put glue at the top and at the bottom and we'll glue it down to the page oh I totally forgot I wanted to ink that okay if you forget to ink something and you glue it down if you can slide a scrap paper underneath the edge then you can still ink without getting it all over your page like this. I always have to come up with troubleshooting things because, well, I forget and I glue things before I meant to. All right. There we go. Let's put the ink back. Oh, that was a bad sound. Okay, so we have a belly band. And in that, we will probably put one of these. Let's go with our little booklet. I kind of like that. The belly band is thick enough that it can hold something wider, like the little booklet there. Nice space here to journal if you're into writing or anything like that. Um, I think I might take one of these. Let's go with this one. I kind of like that. And cut it out. I'm going to leave this here. This is another thing you can do. If you have pieces that you really like, but you don't want to use them in the way that they were intended, this was intended to be a tag, what I'm going to do here is cut this off. Let's go right there. And then we're going to that. Now what I've done here, I'm going to round the edges a little bit, just because I like the look better. We will ink up those edges. And I'm going to ink the inside. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like I've said in the past, I, I like that grungy look where not everything is perfectly done. Um, I want it to look aged. I want it to look well loved and uh, used. So what I'm gonna do here, this tab that I left I'm going to do this, and then we will take it, so we've just turned a tag into, that's, here's a, a little tip, if you have coffee dyed paper, if you have wet glue, 
and you stick something to it, the glue will reactivate the coffee and you will end up seeing it on the back side. If you don't want that to happen, what you'll do is what I did and just run your finger over the beads of glue to smooth them out so that they're not uh, a whole bunch of wet glue going onto your paper. So what we did here, we went from having a tag to having a little flip out where you could put a picture on here if you want, you can write about something, you know, maybe you took a vacation to Egypt and you took a picture of the of the Sphinx, you can put that here and then journal about what that day was like. I love doing stuff like this, sorry. I'm sure you can figure out what to do with a journal. It's just my brain going, oh, and you could do this and then you could do that and what about this? Sorry guys. Let's see, this is darker. Let's go with something a little brighter. I know I said that you could stick this into a pocket or clip it onto the side of a page. I'm going to actually take it and glue it down on two sides, just like that. And when I put it in, it's now a focal point, it's also a pocket, but it is also, so I guess I can show you, it's a pocket right here, but it's also a tuck spot like that. So there's that page, lots of journaling space. Let's see, we have, another one of those. Let's flip more towards the back. We have a little pocket right here that I put in, gosh, one or two videos ago. I don't remember. Um, but there's that. So we don't want to put another pocket right here. Maybe let's put it here. I'm going to glue this one down as well, but I'm going to glue this one down completely so that it's not a pocket. Let's go here. I think I like it on there. And again, this is a pocket, a little pocket right here. Lots of journaling space. This is the center of our signature. Let's go. Do I want to keep this as... You know what I might do is... I think this is what I'm going to do. So this... This is torn fairly straight right here, so I think what I'm going to do is take just this side of the crease of my envelope and the bottom right there and I'm going to snug that up fold this over and glue it now what that just did is we have a tuck spot here that we can tuck something into but then on the other side, we have a flip out envelope that someone can go in right there. Isn't that fun? I love doing fun things like that. More journaling space. Let's flip. I think. I want that one. Okay, what I just did here, I wanted this not to be quite that jagged. Let's go like this. And then I'm going to fussy tear along the bottom and the side. 
to fussy tear something, if you are trying to keep an image, if you put your thumb on it and tear, your thumb will protect what it is you're trying to hold on to. Just a little tip. So with this, I'm going to ink those edges. So last night, evidently, when I was putting my chickens to bed, one of them was not in the coop, and I did not know that until this morning when I went out to, to let everybody out and feed them. She was just standing there, drenched because she's not sensible enough to get out of the rain, but just standing there, just happy thinking she's going to get all the food. She was mistaken because I let everybody else out. So tonight, when I just went out to put them to bed, um, I had to count heads and make sure that my one wayward bird was actually in bed. So this was just a, a piece of um, one of the digital pages. I just tore out the piece I wanted, scrunched it up for some texture, gave it a little bit of ink on those high spots, oh, inky fingers, and then put it down on two sides so we have another tuck spot. Something can go right in there, just like that. Might as well leave that there, it looks good. Now, oh, I love that bird. That's the same one that's on the front. So pretty. He's also here, so I don't want to put this right there. I want to put that one somewhere where it's not right next to the other bird. So our tag, why don't we make a pocket for our tag to go into? Remember our scraps? Let's use one of those. And I really kind of think I like these wings. I think these are the wings of Isis, I believe, or something like that. here. So tell me what projects you're working on. Have you gone and checked out the Natty and Moon Etsy store yet and picked out any fun things to work on? I hope so. We are coming to the end of this project here, and so I'm I'm thinking I'm going to work on that Ostara Easter journal probably next, unless you guys see something else in the store that you would like me to work on to give you a kind of a how-to. I'm definitely not a pro. I just enjoy tearing paper and gluing it back down. So if there's anything that I can do to help you guys, just let me know. Okay. I'm just going to tear this off. No. And this... I think I want the top edge of it to be torn, but I don't want to lose a whole lot of depth here, so I'm going to try and just barely tear the top off. There we go. Alright, so we have this. I think we will grab our 
thread again. And do these go like this? No, they go down. Okay, so let's get some glue on these wings. try to center it on there a little bit. Well, not enough glue going through the thread, so that's, that's one thing I love about the Art Glitter Glue's tip. It's so fine, you can sneak it in up underneath edges and I'm just pulling little bits of this thread out because I want it to be more visible. There we go. Okay. Once again, ink the edges. And you don't have to ink if you don't want to. I just love it. Okay. Let's get this guy put down. Our cute little scarab tag can tuck right into there. Now let's move on. We have this guy left. Where do we want to put him? I'm kind of thinking towards the back since there's not a whole lot going on back here yet. But I am considering Tearing him down narrower. Since I tore off that side, I need to re glue just like that. And I'm going to take this guy and glue him on the sides, but not the top and bottom. And what that's going to do is give us a belly band that goes this way, kind of like a belt. So we have our envelope, but then we also have a belly band that we can stick tall things in like this. So yeah, let's see. Let's go back to the beginning. That is all of the ephemera that we have made already. That doesn't mean that's where we're gonna stop. Let's take these guys. I'm gonna move our book out of the way for a second. And still have not found my ruler. I'm using my my little mini scoreboard as a straight edge. Just like that. And if you ever get things like this, um, you can either glue it, <clears throat> glue it back together. I personally love to really embrace that and I'll roll them up and I'll crunch them and just, you know, play into that. Let's go. 
I think what I'm going to do with this, because it already is printed on the back for a place to journal, a place to write, what I'm going to do with this is simply fold it up like this and stick it into a pocket. Let's see. Oh, we need to ink him. We can never forget the ink. Well, we have a white edge up here. I'm going to tear it off. And throw some ink on it. Ink makes everything better. Or, ink makes everything grandier. Which, you know, in, in my world, is better. Oh, I feel like I'm finally starting to get my voice back a little bit, which is wonderful. Oh, there's another white edge. Ooh, almost. Almost got it. Oops. Did we get it? Almost. Come on. I mean, I could just leave it. I could ink it. In fact, I'll show you. If you were to really ink that part where the white was, you don't even notice that it was white. And I'm going to scrunch this up because I love that texture. And then I'll open it. I mean, it just instantly makes it look like it's an old piece of papyrus or something. I'm going to take and very lightly go over this. And that gives you, the ink will hit just those high edges. Oh, look at that. How cool. Hmm. You know what I think I'm going to do here? I'm going to bust out the dilutions again. Only this time, oh, let's see. Let's cover up my desk or my my mom's card table. I'm going to cover it up with some papers so that I don't get spray on everything. There we go. Let's... Oh yeah, that was a lot. There we go. That's just going to give a little bit of shimmer. A little bit. A lot. A lot of shimmer. A lot of shimmer to our page. I will probably end up going throughout this entire journal and add bits of spray and splatter. I have it folded in three, but I think I'm going to fold it in two and leave it like that. I think I like that better. Do we want it here as well? Just the bird there. Let's see. Get that. I'm just kind of flipping through and seeing what pages need a little oomph to them. I think this one I might uh, run right along the edge like that. Give it a little shimmery edge. Kind of like that. few splatters. Now these are wet. If I close, if I go to the next page, those will bleed over. I don't mind that. Let's see what it did. It just gave us some little, some little shimmery spots with our scarab. Let's do this scarab like we did the other. Give him some Give him some color. Maybe. Little eyeballs. Ooh, 
too much ink. Too much ink. <laughs> oh well, that's okay. He's got big eyes. I wonder if I can blot some of that up. Let's see. <laughs> I just made it worse. That's okay. You know what? What would Bob Ross say? It's happy little accidents. That's a happy big accident right there. But that's all right. Okay. Let's move on. Maybe we can put this guy here. You know what I'm kind of thinking might be fun is to take this. What's on this side? Okay. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and put it right here. And I'm just going to stitch through the paper. For a little bit more fun texture. I love adding different textural elements and if that means sewing, you can sew paper on your sewing machine, you can hand stitch like I'm doing here, it just gives a little bit of fun, a little funk to your project. You can be as precise or as not so much precise like I am. As you want to be, whatever suits you. Now, let's cut this off. So I think what I'll do is I'm just going to bring these strings together. And tie them. I may come back through and add a charm or some beads or something like that here just for funsies okay so there's that I'm gonna leave those strings because I kind of like it this one's a little bit long so we'll cut that off it was a little excessive let me fix my camera here Maybe. There we go. That's better. That's better. So what we did here, instead of having this folded up into a pocket, I just made it into a flip. You could still journal on the back of it. But how fun is that? <clears throat> something on there like a I have this pretty little tiger eye pendant that might be fun to have tied onto here so let's test him out and see what we think let's tie that up again Bring him down. So fiddly. But there. I mean, that's just fun. I don't know. We'll see if he stays. I'm not positive. It is long enough that if I'm going to journal on something, I can put that up there. I don't know. Hmm. He's not jiving with me. I'm cutting him back off. <laughs> he may go somewhere else. Maybe he'll be part of a spine dangle or something like that. We'll see. Okay. Let's... Whoa. 
Uh-oh. We just had a major disaster with the ink. I'm going to pause you. Okay, I am back. And, um, yeah, so I lost about half of my bottle of, <laughs> of shimmer ink. But that's okay. Things like this happen, and I want to show you what you can do if it does. So this is pretty wet still. Um, I did spritz it with some water and wipe off what I could. Now, and I'm telling you, save these because you will you can tear bits of these off and use them in embellishments and your snippet rolls and things like that. It's fun. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, because I already knew that I was going to be really aging this up, I had already planned on um, going a little crazy with the ink on it. Let's see, let's do this first. Oh, I even got ink in my brush. Okay. We want to try and get as much of that out of my brush as possible so that I don't cross pollinate too badly. But that's okay. All right. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go pretty heavy with. Oh, I need to fix the camera again. I apologize, you guys. Man, I am just all over the place with this, aren't I? Okay, we are back. I apologize. Um, my phone rang and it totally turned off my video. What I'm doing here to try and save this is I have really, really vigorously inked this up. And that has already helped out a lot. What I'm going to do now, because I'm using oxide sprays, if you spritz a little bit of water on it gets those inks to oxidize and they will dry a different color I'm also which way is up this is the top okay I'm also going to do a little bit of dripping of the inks. We'll give it some spritzes of water to let it run. And I'm going to pick up some of these really heavier spots and I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go dry this. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back and I got to show you. I mean, look at that. It is so aged and grungy looking. You don't, you can't even tell that it was accidentally blue like that. So now let's do that with the inside here. I'm going to heavily ink up with the brown oxide ink. So see, it's okay if weird things like that happen and you end up wearing half an ink bottle and the other half of it goes on your journal. Um, so there's that. We'll give it a little spritz of water. And then I'm going to, I'm going to give this a little bit more water right there because what I want here is for my ink to spread across. 
like that. I'm gonna give it a little tip. Maybe back the other way. So I'll be right back. There's the inside of the back cover all grunged up. So now where, where all of these pages got it, what I'm going to do is kind of hold them closed. Let's see if we sp spray water on the very edge of these pages and then we take some ink and just kind of drop it in here and there. Sorry, I'm off camera again. This is actually my re-inker um, for my pad, but, oh, this one is walnut stained. This one is vintage photo. Um, what I'm doing here, by dropping it straight out of the re-inker, it is super concentrated. Now I'm gonna spritz this in. And I'm gonna go dry this again and we'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, I gotta show you. So I was originally planning on using these two, so vintage photo and walnut stain and possibly some frayed burlap and speckled egg to really grunge this up. I was not expecting to use my Dilutions Shimmer Spray in Vibrant Turquoise. However, it's the same colors that run throughout the entire journal, so I'm not mad. I can show you what it looks like so far. We have, it's so grungy. I love it so much. Because the papers got wet, they've got this awesome squish to them now. And we can go through. I'll show you an example right back here. We lost this bird and the flowers. But what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to reprint just this image and then put it on here and it'll be pristine over top of this super grunge and I'm probably going to go through and pick out a few of the images like the scarab I think I'll probably end up fixing um, our scarab beetle that I got ink on his eyeballs he's in here somewhere I don't know where Yeah, he's here somewhere. Anyways, I'm going to reprint him and a few other things, like probably this, since I got all of this across his face. I don't know. I might leave him. We'll see. I'm going to go through and print out a few things, too. Here he is. I'm going to reprint him and then glue him over top. He'll be a little bit dimensional that way. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go wash my hands again and get the printer going. So... I'll be back in two, what is it, two shakes of a lamb's tail? Lamb's tails are so wiggly, they're so dang cute. All right, I am back. I printed out a few pieces and got them cut out. And I plan on, 
Ah, I didn't quite get that one the right size, but that's okay. I don't mind. I'm going to give it just a kiss of ink right around the edges just to cover up the, the white paper that's um, right on the edge. And I think, I think I have a huge mess going on is what I think, but I think I will take a little piece of paper I'm going to just fold up a little thing like this, give it a bit of glue, he's going to get glued on behind here, whoa I just hit my camera, I'm so sorry. There's that, and then we'll take another bit of paper. Glue him right down here. And what we're doing here is putting some dimension. If you have the little foam dots, that would work. This is just kind of taking the place of those foam dots and I'm going to glue it right like that so it's not perfect but it it gives our beetle some dimension okay so let's see what else we have I printed these others out I wanted to check this bird. Here we go. Even though I did not print it the same size, I'm okay with this because this is getting pushed to the background. Let's give this a little bit of an ink. Just to kind of camouflage those white edges. This one I'm not going to make raised. I'm just going to glue it right down. Trying to hit the beak where the other beak was just to kind of camouflage it a little bit. And I'll press it down. So now we have our bird back. <clears throat> We've still got these two. Let's see if there's a good place for them to be. Maybe we'll put her right there. I'm not, I think I'm going to forego inking so that she kind of melts into the background instead of standing out. I do love my fine tip on my art glitter glue, that's for sure. Okay, let's place her right there. Now she kind of blends in with the background paper instead of standing out as a piece glued on top. All right, we've still got this guy. Let's see.
So maybe we'll place him right here. That looks good. And again, I'm not going to ink him because I want him to kind of blend into the paper so that it looks like he's been there the whole time. There we go. Okay, so let's take a look at where we're at. Oh yeah, I wanted to grunge up this portion. So let's give it a thorough inking. I promise, I promise I'm going to get this set up better because this is not working so well. Okay. But until then, this is what we have. Okay, I'm going to give it a little water. And some more walnut stain. some of this up that is sitting right in the crease. All right, I'm going to go dry this. I might move it around a little bit more. You know what? This doesn't have any blue on it. Maybe we'll give it a little spritz of the Dilutions turquoise as well. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, I don't know if you're ready for this. Check that out. I love it. We have the makings of a super grungy Egyptian journal here. We're not done, but we got it in the works. I also printed out another little cute coin envelope. So let's cut the thumb pull out. And let's get this Gordon and folded. Here's another little tip for you. If you have a scoreboard, if you will draw a line down in um, a couple of the lines, it allows you to line up your papers a lot easier so that you get more precise scores. There and there. All right. Let's fold it. Get her glued up. Again, tack that down. Just makes it easier. Ooh, I can't 
can't drive straight with my glue tonight. It's probably all the cold medicine in my in my body affecting my brain. Oh, I wanted to ink that up and I forgot. But there we go. Now, isn't that the cutest little coin envelope? Okay, let's put it in there. I'm kind of thinking about putting it in the front or doing like a library pocket so it looks like somebody can check it out. I don't know. I don't know. Let's flip through and take a look. We've got that. I want to make sure that things are spread throughout the whole book, not, you know, a bunch in the front and none in the back. So far, I've got a bunch in the front. I'm not very happy with that. That's fine. You know, this little guy... Oh, no, it's the same. Ah. We need to tuck something in there. So while I have it there, let's look. I have this that I was just inking on the back. And I'm kind of thinking about... Turning this into a journaling card. I don't know. Let's keep looking. Yeah. I might do. Let's make. Okay, I'm going to cut these out. Okay, those are now cut out. I think what I'm going to do is make these into just a little notepad of sorts. I'm just going to tack them right across the top. Maybe. Just like this. Tuck that in there. And you know what? I think I'm going to call this video for now because somebody just pulled it in my driveway. So I'm Angie with You Can Create Too. And remember, guys, if I can do this, then you can too. Have a good day. I'll see you in the next video.